If I feel so fine, mbogi na ngoja no moke Mbogi na ngoja no moke, lakini wetu wana kuja kuzoza Hey, I feel so fine, mbogi na ngoja no moke Mbogi na ngoja no moke, lakini wetu wana kuja kuzoza Na rona M16 kikam kuki gadem ni dealer Dosai muba na hit is kamuliza muku waga killer Sucho mil sides are east na west location na kwa gi serious Dosai mwa baby ya mali fresh itisha ni ta deliver Fifa ni 6 or 7, 10 he'll count out to 11 Nasikia mada upo na hema squeezy, wezi kupiga ta push up mbili Mina sign this, make him baby step, sijai chill I'll be baking bread, sijai quit, nastaki yo change kai fit So kai na bamba si na idu, sasai kuna namba si buy views So si Life is short, it's a lose. Send me a message, I'm a sorter. I take care of the car, I'm a parking. The same over here, slippers. In the show, best of Bima. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. I chose a Mr. Nikafunga. Kiss me, I'm a kafunga. We have Yaro B in the building. I said Yaro B is in the building. And we've been listening to this year, the EP. And we're finally going to have a chance to talk to him right now. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Yaro B. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Radio 254. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Radio 254 is like my home, I think. This is like my fifth interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Welcome to the new studio. Unendeleaje? Mi nikopoa na we. Nikopoa poa? Yeah. So today... I mm-hmm. had a big errand to run, yeah. so I had to go to Nyeri. So, as like, so I was looking at the calendar yesterday, mm-hmm. and I was like, I have an interview at five. Five. So now, how do I go to Nyeri and come, and back? come back? So, my wife is like, should we cancel? I'm like, bro, it's Yaro B. We can't cancel. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally uh, left the house at five, mm-hmm. five thirty in the morning. Yeah. Went to. I got to Nyeri. Audio is good. Sorry. So um I was I left the house at five thirty in the morning, yeah. got to Nyeri at nine and had to come back because I didn't want to I didn't want to miss the interview with you today. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for hosting me and I'm sorry for that. No oh, no no yeah. it's, 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 it's no it's no wahala. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's what we got to do to make things happen. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I remember I was watching this video. Um I think it was um Vince on the beat. Uh, Vince on the beat, and I think someone was, someone was doing something at Vince. Uh, something someone was doing something at um, someone was doing something at the move. Mm-hmm. So uh, the artists were there. I think there were different artists there. So Prezo stood up and said, "Yo." Yaro B's in the building. Yeah. Shout out Yaro B. <laughs> Man, that was a real <laughs> moment. Like, see what they expect. Uh, so me, I'm just there. To me, to to so calligraph and a pig, hey, shout out. Hey. And I'm like, so say, may I be at a cover to do that much? Hey. And there was Prezo. Yo, Kali, Kali. <laughs> Big up to Yarobi as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, your shit is quite dope. Even that audio, uh, audio clip, nearly like the intro of my EP. Because, <laughs> man, that is legendary. Because we all know Prezo. Imagine. Do you yeah. up, up on your people's voices. Yeah, yeah. Soon imagine Mr. Caprizo, I may stand up. Mm. Yo, Kali, you'll have to say what a shout out. But I'm going to pick Yarobi. Yarobi is in yeah. the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And for a guy like Prezo to shout you out, mm-hmm. or even Nivile. Ame ameona the same way wengi wetu wengi wetu tumeona ukikama up uki hustle uki yeah. push twitter uki push pale instagram mm-hmm. unaji push unaji tu unajua mimi hata mimi hata nasikinga aziza na kupatia shout out sio ati unajua sio ati watu wachache ni vile unajituma cause prezo tumejua na ne i think we pata na prezo in 2020 mm. and so like tulipata nayo time and then atujai pata na up to 2023 last year. Mm. So like Milko na jo at Lisha Patana present that was it. Mm. So to keep Patana book a parking lot before to get to the listening party of Vince on the beat. I can be a year romance in Miko Neki watch your shit for a very long time and I'm really inspired. Mm. Yeah, like it's not like inspired, I could impress like when you're not too much this music and mm. everything. So for me, even that like Nikwa Nadani, Kisha Patana is that that's it and then Anna Chukovatli or anything mm. like that. But yeah, I mean, as I'm a person, I'm saying, I'm cool, Sana, and uh, uh, he respects the grind. Yeah. So, nice real. early on this year, you <coughs> said this year is going to be your year. Mm-hmm. And true to that, this year you dropped a project. DCIP. 
and you dropped this year EP. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the EP because it's in, it's 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 an interesting type of vibe. You have features with Tulia. Mm-hmm. You have two fe- different features on there. So I guess how, tell us about this year. How's your year been so far? Tangu January mekuaje? Well, from January, ni uh, mekuapoa and then ni mekuambaya. So now too live mm. uh, and I kwanga na ups and downs and everything, but. Uh, for me, the year has been good. I've dropped my sophomore EP, mm-hmm. and uh, everything is da- just uh, working out well. I'm mm-hmm. just waiting to graduate, so that's a big gap too. Okay. So, but generally, I'm working on my own. Though there's challenges, but I can't go into more about challenges. That challenges, ki music, or my <coughs> challenges, ki personal. Yeah, yeah. challenges, the music too, because mm. as much as this project, I'm talking, I'm going a lot of issues because the first time it's gonna fuck drop on the 27th of august mm-hmm. and then uh uh nika kujani kerala is 26th at midnight because there was a single which is gonna drop 26th mm-hmm. yeah i'm gonna be gyasa and mm-hmm. then 27th the ep mm-hmm. so like nimenda tuna sikes and come and then i'm like nearly distribute uh nearly distribute the open verse mm-hmm. you like nearly record my verse nika tumia yasa mm-hmm. so like but yasa i'm a and then i'm scared to me like a bit so then oh it was it was a verse it was a verse yeah so it was not going to be a file so it was a title to kuja na form kuja na form so nika to me the game and ni fanya nga kazi ya ku distribute nika mtumia and uh, at that i think it was i think to start your something so nika and talk na the guy pia nika mambia ka it's possible to change the song nika nambia it's not nika email watu wa dito and then nika nambia it's not possible because it's a whole song it's not like three seconds or anything so I had to take down the EP which it take like a whole week. Mm-hmm. So the EP go like there something I've been working on since January. Uh, it may drop and then uh, I can't push it because uh, you go you go full you go uh, full even like what so uh, that one whole week ka go through uh, the EP. Uh, Iko to out there everybody mm-hmm. menyali skiza li skiza menyaku skiza li ngoja ni release on uh, 20 no 12th October 12th September. Okay. Yeah so that's the only challenge but nikisema in terms of audio recording mm. i had a smooth running because it's something nilikuwa nimeanza ku save uh, uh, when is when was last year 2020 2022 nil release like two singles and i was like nikitaka ku make uh, some comeback in the music lazima ni do something big so nilianza ku save as early as 2022 for uh, working on this year and uh, you know the only challenge that the same part of musically okay. yeah you to nikuliza down the ep um the song kujana form mm-hmm. with bigasa I want to know the story behind the song because nafikiria yeah for you uh-huh. that song must be important you as in willing to change the whole project could change the whole project and your, yeah. your song it okay the right way yeah so i'm sure your song is going to story uh, well true the song itself is going to story kuja na forms na joke kuja na form ni come and share your stuff like that mm. So even the hook of the song in Asema there's a a, a, a story uh, from that uh, back in high school na kumbuka there was a time kulikuwa na parents day from for new time nilikuwa form 3 mm. <coughs> and then it like walimu wote wako na wazazi wa form 4 mm. so ni kama wako try this thing like what all kona kafa chini ya leaves mm. so many kata kwa kio stuff and then like uh, i think nilio nilio overdose to it cuz na kumbuka nilitoka too straight from class mm and can then ka pick everything mm. uh, and then i went straight to the dorm without carrying kama kuna prefects or not because mm. i felt like me ni kan mm. so yeah so the whole thing of that song like nilipata tu nimekio huku jana form na back in high school na kumbuka nili overdose nobody knew nili do the whole den dania dorm mm. only my friends to come at four on na shindwa nilikuwa happy kumbe the whole time nilikuwa mm. dorm but generally it's a drill beat too so pia me like na jua drill ili kwa something big last year last year but one but mimi nona nimetoa this year okay. so the whole point ili kwa like stack it to drop drill cuz uh, kila mtu anafanya drill i wanted to perfect my sound with that like need you how the beat works and how my rhymes and what plays it a fit at the uh, every part of the beat rather than could drop to cuz it's a hype and yo ya rubi tutu tole pia mm. i just wanted to be like ni kwe si ku perfect but ni king ya kufanya drill beat i know what i'm doing rather than doing what everybody is doing okay yeah big yasa muli patana na aje uh big yasa njona ne na njona na manager big yasa on a personal level okay so niliongea na manager big yasa kwanza mhm and then do akona podcast shout out to him yeah 
oh man big yes i remember there was a time tulikuwa na some the same college pia so mm. the first time kumbe tuna big yes ilikuwa anga at a school event mm. college that is okay so aka perform nika perform and that was it mm. so nika kuja nika patana na manager wake pia mm. tukabonga tuka create some sort of a relationship mm-hmm. business relationship or just my best to mm. And uh, yeah, I'm like, yo, I have this uh, amount of money, you know, like, yes, I'm going charge how much for a vast, you know, it's business, right? Mm. So I can remember this, the amount of uh, uh, money, yes, I'm charge. So after that, I'm going to get a yes, I'm directly, like, as much as to show my manager, I'm going to get a yes, yo manager met connect na big yasa alienda mm. pia nikacha pia na ne ni kama ile tu na mwambia na ngoma zake na sikizanga pia bla 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 tu create some sort of relationship for like kuongea tu 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 to 3 days ala fundo mm. after like one week tuka enda studio so after that ndo mwambia like na nataka kuwa kana ene kamtumia depo mm. tukaenda studio and mm. that was it and uh, the guy is cool mm-hmm. uh, aku ni pia any sort of uh, issue to ki record uh, the ep mm-hmm. yeah ilikuwa a very smooth uh, 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 na plan ku record video huh? na plan ku record video yeah, na plan ku record video mm. but we didn't gonna one video out so like uh, uh well time will tell time will mm. tell about the video but i'm really planning uh, hoping that uh, i'll be able to record that video too okay huh. um kuna ngoma mwingine pia umefanya na lb el presidente mm-hmm. yeah. na malibuzi mm-hmm. uh, grinding yeah. lb na mjua yeah, malibuzi tuambie kuhusu malibuzi Uh, malibuzi malibuzi tulijuana na e. okay uh, mimi na Aziad mm. tunajuana mm. so manager wa Aziad mm. anaitwa Morgan manager wake i think ni assistant manager or something mm. anaitwa Morgan Eden so from then ka follow Morgan Eden and then ka kujana ka realize ako na rapper mm. anaitwa Malibuzi mm. and then so like tuliongana ngane tumejuana na PF for some time now although nim DM mingi kitamu nikamwambia one time tuta tafanya ngoma na wewe so mm-hmm. nilisikia tu hiyo beat and i was like let me try him mm-hmm. and then nilimtumia the beat and malibuzi alikuwa like yo nitakuandikia verse na pia nitakuandikia hook mm-hmm. so i was like nika ni limit the perfect mm-hmm. person for this song cuz nilikuwa nafikiria pia ndio hook gani mm-hmm. and then the guy called like yo nitakuwekea verse na hook and mm-hmm. i was like this is dope mm-hmm. so malibuzi pia tuna joana although not on a personal level but mm-hmm. tuna joana tuko na some sort of a uh, Uh, friendship in between sia tulipata na tunia samwe yo wewe ni msanii mimi ni msanii ni kutumia okay. beat alafu tupata na studio okay haikuwa hivyo nikuulize producers wise wewe work na producer wa gani na ni producer gani ungependa ku work na yoja work na yeye bado um, producers so far na work na a guy anaitwa S Smoke the Rebel mm-hmm. uh, wa Bad House Music i think okay. unijua yes yeah and uh, nika work pia na Finko Beats mm-hmm. and then nika work pia na a producer uh, video producer pia anaitwa Ray Salma of mm. River Music Kenya okay so and the producer nime, nime work now and uh, everything nime kwa so smooth for me mm. like i just thank god like the lineage the producer so sometimes na kwanga issue but uh, i just thank god like <laughs> uh iko na imekuwa something smooth okay. yeah so producer naweza taka kwa eh, kama na, ungetaka kwa na nani uh, i think the only a producer and as a taka kwa kana here it's uh Vince mm. Vince on the beat maybe oh okay yeah okay and i think it's just uh, that guy cuz i'm motivated don't i don't think like uh it's like not like mongavi by but i don't feel like <clears throat> and producing some dope uh hip hop uh, type of beats or stuff okay. like that yeah unajua cap uh not really okay mm-hmm. lakini uonge taka Vince on the beat uh for now i just think uh we send the beat or whoever like just uh is doing the work really well okay yeah um umesema umefanya video moja for yeah. the project yeah na hiyo ni video ya 41 41 yeah uh, tell us the story behind the song 41 so 41 uh with this time like uh mil kwanga na jamba like if you got points like there's a story tell in a song like a whole song like there's a same you already nisha make it as a rapper mm. like ile like if I, I'm, I'm, i'm at a point like i can tell a whole story about my life mm. uh, in a song mm. uh already like nimefika to that level mm. where i consider myself a great mm. so with that beat already this year ep like nilikuwa nataka ku kuwa na ngoma yenye like najiongelea like i'm talking just about my life because mm. uh, it's this year ep and so nikatumia this beat na this producer anaitwa Brax King mm-hmm. 
and uh, <coughs> nikisikia tu hiyo beat like i think like the first 15 seconds of the beat i knew he beat no it is that purpose of that song cause uh, ni feel like hii ngoma hii beat like nikisikia this beat itakuwa na it will be a very smooth time kuandika an autobiographical song mm-hmm. so yeah and uh Forty one, it can come up. Although, like at first, like when I take it, nineteen ninety nine zero four zero nine, like my date of birth, April 9th, nineteen ninety nine. Then this guy called KB. No, can I be like instead of like just telling people the exact numbers, mm. you can add those numbers up. So nineteen ninety nine one plus nine plus nine plus nine mm. plus zero nine. Uh, April zero four and all those numbers combined. 41 mm. and so that's the whole thing about 41 that's really dope yeah um i'm curious you talked about school mm-hmm. um what what are you studying and where where do you go to school uh like when i study in east africa uh east africa certified studies mm-hmm. And uh okay, you happy? Iko, Iko tu apo within cbd mm-hmm. yeah and then like when i study in college uh mm like when I study catering and accommodation okay yeah so like uh napenda kupika mm-hmm. and i think before that like when i may join uh college in engineering because i was like out of high school and then like like when i pressure could join not because mainly kwacho pure and they but like when i got to join college mm. like, yeah. Yeah. so i could join one and a half year later i think in June 2019 October mm. engineering then, sasa yes yeah, so mm. and uh, in 2020 i think mid 2020 covid came mm. to cancel online classes and i was like <laughs> to to my dad mm. this is not me mm. so yeah nika take my time so nika ngoja time choose ko karibu kufungulia after covid was like gone that's mm. like almost one year later mm. so because i'm going to to my dad kama me yo me uh I'm not doing a uh, electrical engineering tena. Mm. Nataka kuingia into catering mm. which napenda kupika although si kila time unajisikia nga kupika but mm. so yeah that's me I'm mm. a rapper and a, not yet a chef but just a graduate but literally I can cook almost everything. Okay. Not just cooking cuz unaweza pika kwa nyumba like proper. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? Uh, so you must have your sauce but when you uh-huh. do cook what's your favorite thing to cook? Uh, wana penda kupika kuku mm. uh, pilau mm. na nyama anything meat mm. uh, wana penda kupika sana mm. yeah cuz i didn't major into like baking dealing with stuff like doing the dough or anything mm. so nili major into kupika na penda kuku cuz it's my favorite food and pilau mm. and ugali nyama sukuma pia okay yeah like <laughs> you need food poa ni kinanga ocha that's the only meal we eat almost every night okay so na nanga ni food yenye nakupanga energy mm. yeah na siku langi pia like usiku napata usiku na kula kiasi then morning kiamka unakula unapata nguvu ya mm. kwenda ku hustle the old day okay yeah. Ikulize, most people wana kujua uh-huh. wana kuitanga ya Robi ama wana kuitanga Jeremiah well a few people when you mean you are from school mm. that's high school mm. and primary mm. wana njua ka Jeremiah mm. the people who mean you are after 2020 2019 when you when you njua ka ya Robi mm. and generally my mm. family wana njua ka ya Ro mm. so ya Robi is like a nickname nimekuwa nime grownosis ni kwa mtoi because mm. ukiwa mtoi like wanaangalia ng'a character yako atakupa nickname gani so me when i was a kid nilipangwa nickname ya robaba or baba yaro which me kwa derived from a nigerian footballer mm. and it was celestine baba yaro mm. so because he was a footballer and then i'll go playful mm. my aunt was like kidana napenda kucheza chat mm. me ya robaba or baba yaro so mm. After high school I was like mbona ni part after a uh, complicated Tari 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 kona jina already ni kona jina so ni kama instead of baba or what you go yaro b and mm. that's it so me home ukienda okay, to anywhere yaro mm. yaro yaro yeah tangu utoto ni yeah tangu utoto so it's like it's a unique name to the people <laughs> when na patana nao sasa hii nambia ngam tu minute yaro b and they be like when in Kenya because mm. of the name but mm. it's still okay yeah so yaro b see see a new name to my family members is a new name to the people in Yanani Jua as time goes by okay yeah nikuliza mhm umesema hapo awali that um you knew you wanted to make the project um and you started preparing yeah. in terms of saving mhm 
Um, I'm curious, how are you able to make music? Like, how are you able to financially save? What do you do? How are you able to make... Well, I told you I'm a student. Mm. So, me, my whole pocket money... Mm. Domzayan and Tumia, because I literally don't live with my dad and I could jungle like once in a month, mm. uh, like two times a year. Mm. So, <clears throat> and Tumia got their transport, mm. they're going to chew back and forth and do your food, yeah, because mm. they're going to go back and forth, sequel like mm. a sequel to a hostel. Mm. So, yeah, my dad and Tumia, they're going to lunch. Mm. See, cool lunch. Most of the times, like, Nikki feel, Lola Zamani, cool and cool, and Nikki mm. feel. <laughs> no, let's just keep going. I'm going to go to the food, and I'm going to So, I did that for almost like nine months mm. and yeah na kitu kikam eh, ni kitu ki... anything anything else kikam so no na like kama ukiatu ama de mama yani yeah, mzinga so, unajua so, so unapata pia so natumia tu kwa hiyo savings yangu but me i, I, I got to say i'm kind of like uh, not blessed mm. but then i'm getting let me just say i'm blessed because i live in a family of four sisters mm. And I'm the only boy. Mm. So anytime, because I stay in my sister, anytime I'm on my younger, yo, sasa sis, nenda, nenda alchemist. So although I'm going to pay for it, because the only place I'm going to pay for it is alchemist. Mm. But I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to So anytime I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to pay for it. Leo. Mm. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm mat. Mm. And I took MPS and I took the I took the MPS and 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 I took Unarusha kiasi hapo. So pia ya mekusaidia in terms of funding that music mm. but indirectly because so when you well, mini me save my own money. Mm. Yeah. Lakini pia siku zina unanga unakuanga na hasol sasa. Nimechiki hasol sasa yako. Yeah. So msena za banini kwa hasol sasa sto yako. So far hasol sasa the only thing to understand is that my music which is available everywhere. Mm. Uh, as far as tickets is concerned I think nime uza two tickets uko once. Mm-hmm. And uh, but the merchandise, uh, as well as soon as I was end with him, mm. but for now it's just music. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying that I could buy this year. Mm-hmm. And as in that, so as I buy. And as in that, so as I buy, I'm on as in that iTunes. Okay. Yeah. Anywhere. 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 Whenever okay. like go to me a um dundo, mm. go there download. Mm. Go to me a Spotify, whichever. As long as you're streaming in Goma, you can find Goma as a Yerubi app. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you dropped this year, what was what goals did you have for the project? Huh? When you dropped the project this year, yeah. what goals do you have for the project? For me, like even the title itself in it was this year. Mm. So like it means like this 2024 might be my year, mm-hmm. 2025 might be my year. Mm. That's the whole concept of calling that. This is your year. Yeah. So mm. in as a quarter, three years from now, but you know, this is my year. So for me, I could drop your album, mm. your EP. I was just hoping like. Uh, it reach a new audience mm-hmm. and uh, probably it reach new people mm-hmm. and uh, uh, that's uh, people like people who can organize is a big shows which can pay cuz lazima pia tengeneze leo na music is taki to go and invest on something mm. rather than uh, i need a investment uh, return of investment pia mm. so but generally me like feel like this eip it and put at a position uh, uh, in a different position than I was two years ago, I could drop my first EP, like when it was a bugger EP. So, like, generally, I could drop this EP, I was hoping it would be like somewhere far. Which so, already, growth. Yeah, growth. Growth mm. in terms of growth. Uh, not just growth, l- lyrically-wise, because mm. you can see a bugger EP, and then you can see this EP, it's like two different, the same artist, but this one was kind of mature, this one is more mature. In terms of the way I'm putting the lyrics and everything, so growth in terms of uh lyrically wise growth in terms of a fan base and growth in terms of piado okay yeah nikuliza msema mamaliza tu na graduate when uh, probably 2020 cuz uh, 2020 ni 4 years ago wow. <laughs> <laughs> ni december 2024 <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah, December 2024 cause results na fa kutoka this month. Uh, so but I already registered for the graduation mm. which is part of the school uh, 
uh, rules like mm. kisha malza your time no mesha malza exams register for graduation mm. and then kama utako me pass if you have a retake or something mm. you have to push the graduation to next year but so so but for me this is my december year. 20 december 15 20. So this year. Yeah. Na sasa ukima so you sasa me mada chuo na ngoja graduation form ni gani? Unafanya nini na unafanya nini na Yarobi? Yarobi this Yarobi and then. Na na swali yangu ni eh my bigger question is what what path are you looking to take? Unafikiria uchukue hiyo path ya job na catering? Yeah. Na hiyo stuff ya culinary ama unafikiria uchukue usanii as in wajo I mean now na kama kwa crossroads. Yeah, Najua, kwa crossroads. Ju ule take break ulikuwa na afro, mm-hmm. ulianzaga na afro, sasa ukarudi kwa na braids. Mm. Uh, Msema this is your year. Uh, lakini like sasa I guess ch- how 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 do you either balance both school mm-hmm. and not not school but work and the career or which one do you focus on? Uh when I try to focus on both just the same way I was doing a uh, back in high school mm. not high school college like balancing school and musical don in gumu mm. but on a patasa with a uh, job ni kono sign ni kona all on tuesdays and thursdays mm. na pia siate like natoka ngalit pia sana pato like i have tuesdays which is today mm. and thursdays mm. like i'm completely off and sundays which i'm working on new music and just working on new other things that are not uh Jeremiah or Yaro be like generalizing like cuz it combines zote pamoja so napata like that's the only time napata ngaku work on my music and everything cuz yeah yes nafanya music ni napenda sana nifanye music full time rather than going to another job mm. but yeah music bado jaza kulipa and I'm growing so mm. and I can't be calling my parents any every now and then like I need to work on new music and stuff <laughs> like that although so jai work on like when even when i was in high school even when i was in college mm. but generally since i could call no be like taka this and that but me kunuliza na zataka kufanya music full time mm. everything else music ndio itakuwa ni fun but right now mm. i'm already a grown man mm. young man 25 years mm. so i need to step up here mimi mm. yeah so right now ni both of them but uh, i balance them so lingine very stress ni kona ni vile muziki iko sasa hii uh-huh. kuna ni kama kama wewe ni msanii lazima pewe kwa content creator yeah. and i say it's not even just wasanii hata kama uko na biz uh-huh. kama uko na biz huwezi kuona uza keki tu lazima utafungua instagram to, lazima uh-huh. sijui chatisha uh-huh. watu yeah. sijui ma filter sijui tiktok sijui uh-huh. nile sound sijui ya ndakumunju whatever the yeah. case is Um what do you feel how do you feel about that and like you being an artist mm-hmm. are you looking at creating like maybe TikTok challenges for some of the songs you have like for example Kujana Form mm-hmm. or like you know content because I feel like you, can, you yes you are being an artist yeah. but like lazima sasa unajua kama vile stupid example but kama msa kama stu, uh, simple boy yeah. simple boy ni msanii lakini pia anachachisha kama content, content creator. creator na pia ndio ni avenue unaza kula nayo mm-hmm. pia wenye ya robi lakini pia unaza kuwa actor yeah. unaza kuwa kakasho kakatika show kasho max tv hiyo mm-hmm. inakuwa na kupatia ka bag yeah. so i guess balancing your brand you unajenga brand na robi outside of music how do you want the robi brand to grow uh, outside the music uh, me generally uh going to too much into content creation mm-hmm. at all at all at all because mm-hmm. uh, i remember uh nearly joined tiktok when i think uh, when i was still in high school because that time tiktok like connect uh, musically and then okay brand to tiktok so that's mm-hmm. when we joined the tiktok mm-hmm. that was like in 2016 if i'm not wrong mm-hmm. so that whole time yeah like when i can create content and then i could jangan katoka i could back to tiktok as it came and then don't join tiktok tena so me you can put a tune in a post like i'm just lip syncing to my songs and then as a like a tiktok but <laughs> like dancing uh-huh. i really suck at dancing uh-huh. uh, siju ku dance at all at uh-huh. all so like you always cut other my my what my challenge or so my challenge no, of fun for your challenges uh-huh. well and good cuz mtoki skiza ngoma na depend me mbabaji kuna mtu anaweza skiza ngoma probably when in ngoma nyume kan ya sherehe but kuna mtu anaskiza like the lyrics of mm. yeye ngoma ya sherehe na probably this guy is going through mm. something now mm. and I have fun now but generally mtu mm. 
akichukulia uh, ngoma i dance mm. it's okay kama si a dance song na dance mm. amependa ngoma hivyo cuz uwe sema like uko na target audience like mtu akisikiza ngoma na fuck when which position in life mm. yeah wasn kuambia like let me throw a different aspect of it mm-hmm. kuna history flani mpya imekoa ma content creators wanatumia ngoma za wake ma artists wa Kenya yeah alafu wanalipwa mhm alafu i guess wana ma artists wanaenda mm-hmm. kuwasu jo yeah. tumeizo ma ngoma zao yeah so i guess at the same time unataka wasio tumia ngoma yako ndio i grow lakini pia sasa mse kama anatumia ngoma yako na analipwa ni tafash there's a difference because mm. uh, those people wenyewe wamekuwa sio sued all of them mm si content wanafanya they probably promoting a different brand B- or product yeah different mm. product mm. so unapata like this product uh, is like when i tumia for advertising mimi sijali ukijana ukidance ngoma yangu tiktok mm. but advertising a product which una chukua some pay cut out of that company mm. and then you eat in it all without even asking for permission or anything so mm. hapo ndo nikawa na violate cuz uh, unalipwa mm. na unatumia ngoma yenye pia mimi nafaa kulipwa so happened when i break the, the rules because okay. it's something that i rightfully own and then when i to me like nikani yako kutengeneza pesa which is not yours so happened to the big issue but anybody doing content anybody dancing to uh yarubi songs on tiktok on instagram reels mm. doing challenges even on youtube shorts it's okay okay but if it if it like you're making money out of my uh my art mm. uh, that's uh na draw the line na wewe kama yarubi what steps have you taken to protect like kama hizo mango mume kama hii album mume release mm-hmm. with the producers and the artists i guess yeah. how, what arrangements have you guys done uh from that even before the ep was released all of my all of the featured artists mm. they had to sign a split sheet okay yeah and then like uh, pia na to uh Uh, ask up uh, ask up i think in a protecting gay yes yeah so piano me like my songs to ask up so generally i think is on the only things that you know right now is a protect an artist from your content to me when you attack can with anybody mm-hmm. so there's that please shit and every feature that is like on their own copy so in case of anything in case ngoma ikuji blow up and then you like miss kulipwa mm. ngoma imetengeza this this what you're getting mm. so At first I could drop my first song, my first EP is gonna just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's only message it's all about growth, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so generally ni just split sheet mm-hmm. and uh ask up. Sisi tunajua ya Robin rapper, nikuulize top 5 rappers in which country? Worldwide, Kenya. Dead or, dead or alive, tuseme Kenya, tuanze na Kenya. Okay, dead or alive and my top 5 hakuna mwenye amekufa. Mm. So Uh, the first list already ta kwa Octopizo mm-hmm. but not in a like uh, in a not only manner but my mm-hmm. top 5 generally ni Octopizo mhm uh, Prezo mhm Timmy Blanco mm-hmm. Silverstone Buzz mhm Calligraph mm. and Mr Right Brooklyn okay. Boys those are six though but I'll allow you because I like I like that you had a female in your top 5 yes. tell me about Silverstone Buzz being in your top 5 that's hard Silverstone Buzz siete ni memoeka cuz i wanted like ni kitu female hapo uh. like one them uh, really listen to her songs a lot and uh, alikujanga na this vibe mm. vinya linga into that calicatel stuff mm. and yeah so from there mainly penanga to your dem cuz i felt like i could so kind of unruly in mm. a way mm. cuz the whole calicatel who smokes a cigar inside a a cot <laughs> so like up to the only first thing like ni mpenda sia tunapenda like and madame yenye and really mm-hmm. but uh you like ili kuna she is free with whatever anafanya mm-hmm. like uh she's doing what she wants she's doing what she wants that's why like when a smoke cigar kwa court mm-hmm. which literally it's like um break laws na ulizo hapa na Natasha ya Ruby anapenda madame yenye gani madame yenye gani So Mr. G, I don't know I, I, these questions I didn't ask. This ones yeah. I'm reading. <laughs> um Ya Robi anapenda mademo ina gani? Mimi napenda mademo appetit. Yeah. So kuna dem ama hauna dem? Uh, uh, even in my songs. Kwa nini so lingumu? No, even in my songs, uh, I always say like nina rap about things that happen in my life, uh, but apata kwa I think two or three songs from mm. the EP me say like Nico Nampoa she looks so fine mm. and then there's a, another place like Nico Sama I think my girlfriend me mm. and my girlfriend so like literally that's the only time me 
uh, drop a cap uh, lyrics on the EP. So how na girlfriend? Tina. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, uh. like I just wana kukata ama niona wakata. Sisi tena wakata wale wana kata eh. Eh. I don't know like nikithi na men. Well, no nanga tukutafutie. Zi. Eh. I think it's gonna pressure yake. I don't know the pressure gani exactly. Uh. But uh when I feel like uh relationships are kind of stressful mm-hmm. especially for young people or those is my nikom young right mm-hmm. now like they are me me hit like you. But when I was like uh, in my early 20s, late 18, late uh 18, 19, 19, 20, I was like in a lot of pressure for no reason at all. Mm-hmm. As much as everybody Better go fall in love. Music it change. As much as everybody. Yeah, true. At all about music mm. or anything like Jera grow. Me. Yeah, probably not grow if like okay at this point. Cuz pia mimi lazima nitapata mtoto I always tell myself lazima mm. niko na watu hii probably wawili watatu. Mm. So hiyo ndio maisha. Lazima nitatafuta somebody but right now I feel like uh, I'm still not ready. Okay. Yeah. I'm just not ready. So I want you to say something to three different people i want to say something to your dad say something to your sisters and then say something to your fans mm-hmm. something to my dad mm. uh for my dad as i say my like i'm really happy because uh, uh i'm really happy the way we are building our relationship right now with my dad because back in high school nil kwa spoiled brat and i used to hate my dad mm seriously since I'm about yeah I'm just happy like right now I can even call my dad and talk for like a whole hour a phone call mm. and yeah I'm happy to me build that relationship as two grown up people one who is a, a really grown up and one who is a young grown up mm. so yeah my dad I'm happy our relationship energy fix mm. for my sisters thank you for always being there for me yeah uh mume kwa there for me in countless times I can't even count So now penda sana and to my fans thank you for listening to my music uh mefanya this year EP mefikisha like uh, 6000 streams on Spotify in two weeks which Abu Gas EP haijafikisha in two years so yeah my stream EP venye nafa and now penda sana na I value you a lot and nikiamwa kuwa on this EP although nilitoa in Nilsa mana drop EP first January na imetoka this late into the year because nilikuwa nataka kuapia something dope sikuwa nataka kuapia tungo ama cause naweza rap yeah i value you top mm. so erobi mhm I, i expect to see you here many more times yeah because you're you're consistent and you continue to push and um you you're unique and you stand out and i hope that god continues to watch over you to keep you healthy to keep you focused because um the kenyan music industry needs you yeah yeah um who i want to ask you my three final questions uh f- first question is dream feature kenyan who do you like like who is the one person you would just want to work with before it's all over who do you want to work with Dr. Pizzo Dr. Pizzo yeah okay um my second question is um when it comes to the year i know the year it feels like it's almost ending but mm-hmm. what's the one thing you want to do before the year is over as yarobi besides graduation new mm-hmm. shafanya yeah but what, what's the one thing you're trying to do before the year is over what's what's the one thing you just have to do move out to my own place. Mm. Yeah, because okay. bado sahi ni ni mimi kwa na basista zangu. Mm. So <laughs> probably by the time the year ends mm. with the job that I'm doing, nda mm. kuanisha move out because I've been wanting to move out since Kitambo. Mm. That's why ndili am working in engineering straight out of high school because mm. we kuna joint yako kwa hostels. Mm. And yeah. Okay. Na nataka tu like ni kwa into my own free space. Mm. Uko ready? Yeah, I kind of think I'm ready. Mm utakupika utapika la kuosha nguo vitu hizo zingine zingine ah hiyo probably ndaikuwa tena ndakuwa naita somebody na wash all na peleka washing machine yeah. dry cleaners cause even homes you shangi kuna yeah. washing machine so like so it's like like nitoke okay, home nirudi back to something else although like it's still okay but uh, 
sisi taka ni toke into a better place ni going mm. to something different okay but it's still okay atani kitoke into a better place ni going to something different that means like nita, i have to push myself ndo nifike to that more than that better place which i was before ni move out okay I guess my final question I don't have a question but I want you to say give mm. give some words of encouragement to someone who's out there listening. I guess there's people out there listening. What do you what do you want to let them know? Um it can be about you, it can be about life. I guess what's your, what's your what's your parting shot? Yeah, my parting shot is that uh, I'm just going to quote my first EP always believe you're good at something and uh, for this life like uh, everybody has a purpose like usweise uh, my like I don't have a purpose I just came to earth to live and finish life and go down a uh, six feet everybody has a purpose you just need to find it and go uh, on something you're doing you give up on it don't me bad on ngana na music like four years five years later yeah so if you have something that you're doing for yourself in as a way you let me zao right now but just keep on doing what you're doing even Rome wasn't built in one day you know yeah so just believe in yourself Ladies and gentlemen, I want to be leaving you with 41. It's from Yarubi's this year EP. Um if you can, please go check out Yarubi on all social media. That's Yarubi. He has a new EP out. It's called This Year EP. Um it's an amazing EP. It's out on all streaming platforms. Go find it. Um it's got incredible features. Um from different artists including including El Presidente LB, Mali Buzi, Big Yasa, Tulia and Shazi B. Um you listen to Radio 254. This is the home of Kenyan music and content. Thank you so much for listening. Good night. Shop boy Yarobi. Shane Davis at Best Live.